Yeah, it's a wonderful time to be in the city of Kano. Yeah, we are in the Sambogari area, as it is called. They say it's no man's land. So I stumbled upon my brother, Okimuti Oda. Uh, just uh, moved to the League Champions Play. So United is one of the players they are expecting to help them reinforce whatever loopholes the team has got so that they can represent Nigeria properly on the continent and as well uh, try as much as possible to defend the league title. They say to get to the top is easier than to maintain the top position. Okimoto Oda is no stranger to big moments and big games in Nigerian football. So uh, I'm going to put the spotlight on Okimoto for him to take us on a journey of his career, where he started from and uh, how he got to where he is right now. Okimoto Oda, you're welcome to the show. Thank you very much. All right, talk to us about uh, where you started. Uh, we know you have Isoko Robo name, uh, but I also know that you were not, but you didn't grow up in that in the South South region. Yeah, yeah, that's so true. let us know where you grew up and uh, how you started your football career and how far you, how you managed to get to this place. Yeah, I'm born and bred up in Port Harcourt, River State, and my career started in um, Port Harcourt through. Uh, I'm actually on the 13 side. That was where I started. What's the name of the team? Yeah, Rainbow Stars. That was the years back in okay. um, Transamadi. And so you made it to the. What's the first professional football club you played for? Either in the Premier or the Pro. The first, the first pro, pro professional. Whether it's Pro, whether it's Premier. Buzdo. You played Buzdo. Yeah, Buzdo. And then from Buzdo, you moved to. I moved to uh, Dolphin. And then from Dolphin, Dolphin to Sharks. My team. Yeah. <laughs> well, I played for the Sharks and Eagles team that became Dolphin. So uh, we, when you when you see us here, we are if if if, if there's some, anything called alumni in football, we are alumni. Now you move from Sharks and uh, how did the career progress? Let's follow the journey, your career path. Yeah, after my um, my uh, four season with Sharks, I I got I got a call a call, a call up from um, to the Super Eagles. From there, after the, uh, the, the fourth season, I went to Wari Wolf. I played for some season before I played uh, my last club, uh, Lobby Stars. That was last season before yeah. I moved to Plateau United. Yeah. Okay, so we can call you a master of the Nigerian Professional Football League. Having played mm -hmm. for Sharks, Dolphins, Wari Wolves, Lobby Stars, now play to United. You played in the South, South. You played in the north or the middle bit. Now, the only place you've not played is in the east, but you've traveled around the country yeah. uh, for football. Would you have thought about this, that, okay, in your life, you would have gone around the country at this age of your life when you first started? No, not really. Uh, not really, because uh, actually my, my biggest dream is for me to play professional outside Nigeria. But you know how football goes, but I'm, uh, I'm so uh, grateful to God. I'm still playing actively. All right, talk about yeah. professional football outside this country. Yeah. If you have a choice to pick the league you want to play in, what's the league you want to play in? <laughs> you, know, you know the league that I mentioned. <laughs> the mentioned. APL. Oh, you love the APL? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I'm a diehard fan of the, 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 the La Liga, the Spanish La Liga, but I also love the APL because of the rahs and the balls yeah, and all no, those excitement that come no with the league. So, yeah, okay, yeah. Mateo, the, uh, the most difficult role to play in football is the role of a goalkeeper. Yeah. How do you deal with that moment where you have made 99 saves? You saved every single ball in the game, and the game is 0 0. And last minute, one loop, one lapse, and then you concede a goal, and everybody's blaming you. How do you deal with that? Well, it's, uh, it's very difficult, you know. It's very, very difficult for a man to do a great job, but at the dying minute, everything just went down, you know. It's, no, it's something that, that, like, for me, I'll feel bad for, like, for maybe days, weeks. I'll be thinking about the game and how my, I put the effort, and all of a sudden, things just blow up, not the, the way the clocks want it. It's, a, it's not an easy thing. It's not an easy thing at all. But as a professional, you need to regroup yourself for, because you have another game. Okay, I, 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 I played with quite a lot of different kind of goalkeepers in my day, and uh, one of the ones that I respect the most is Mama Mapakabo, you know, 
and he screams yeah. a lot in the, in the goal. He yeah, was erratic. Yeah. He was a, you, you grew up in Port yeah, You know yeah, the exploit yeah, of uh, yeah, yeah. you know I said from Shaq's, uh, Sharp Arrows in Rumola and then you know got to Sharks in Port Wow. And and, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this as a goalkeeper, are you the calm one like Ike Shirumu when he was in Trace? He doesn't shout. He, I mean, he just tells the defenders, if you not defend when all of us go lose you. <laughs> like the same way with Peter Rafai. He doesn't shout on you. He just tells you, if you don't defend well, we'll all lose the bonus. So do your job, let me do my job. But Imama, Imama is, is crazy. Andrei Komogbe, crazy. Let me say crazy. Yeah. Abiyadu Barua would even punch his own player. Which type of goalkeeper is okay much older? I think I'm between the Imama, Imama and Ike Shurum. Right? Yeah, I pick from. Do, do you know the funniest part of it? Imama is, is I don't know, is my mentor. He he look, he, he picked me from the, the amateur side. Wow. That that was when he, and then he was monitoring my progress. My progress and uh, and Nicky Churum, I watched him uh, years back during the Nations and World Cup. I saw his calm and the way he's, the way the way he plays, the way he keeps. I feel, I, I don't know, I have that I kind of job. It's one, it's one of the diff, diff, yeah. difficult goalkeepers to score head as it yeah. is. It's one of the difficult goalkeepers to score one on one against. One. I mean, it's just there. Now, now, let's go to the national team because I bring this up because of what's happening in the national team. I think I've been doing well and you still hear the fans criticizing goalkeepers like Ezenwa, like uh, Daniel Aquari, and the rest of them. How does it feel when you open social media or your family and friends open up social media and they're attacking you as a goalkeeper, even when the team has won a game? How does it make you feel? Well, the, it's, uh, I feel bad, you know. When I, sometimes when I go on Facebook, I saw what the, uh, the fans are talking about, uh, the goalkeepers. It's not, uh, it, it, it's not an easy job for them, you know. They are, I believe they are doing very, very well. They are putting on their best. What they need is the, the fans to encourage them, and I think they will do more. They will do more. Okay, so uh, we want to enter the geographic class now and find that uh, through the eyes of Okimoto, uh, you travel around Nigeria, you've gone everywhere. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us the three most beautiful cities that you've been to in Nigeria? Wow. I'll start from where it is, Port Harcourt. City. Yeah. I agree with you on that. <laughs> I know they will see yeah. sentimental yeah. attachment because we all grew there. But that's the truth. It's true, but that is a beautiful city. That's why they call it the Garden City. Yeah. So what's the next one? Mm, should I mention Abuja? But it doesn't have a premier team there. Um, no, no, it doesn't have to. It's Nigeria. I mean, yeah, Abuja. Abuja. Abuja is fantastic. I agree with you on that one too. And uh, Uyo. Wow, yeah. Uyo is fantastic. Uyo Let's say Uyo fantastic. and uh, Castina. Yeah, Katsina is also a very, very serene city. Mm -hmm. So tell us about the three worst cities you've been to. Like, man, I, I, as soon as you get there, you're like, I can't wait to leave this town. Three. Wow. Three. Yeah. Three. Jigawa. Okay. Um, this other state again, I'm forgetting the... Um, I mentioned Jigawa. Yeah, Jigawa. Zamfara. Zamfara. And uh, Akure. <laughs> you know, it's just spinning in my head like, I would say Akure. Like, I've been to Akure to the play, you know, mm -hmm. I, 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 not, not disrespect, but I just didn't click for me. So, uh, talk to us. What's your projection for this season? 20 United are a very difficult team to play in. They, they had Dila uh, Ajibuyi last season and he did very well. Remember, I played for your former team, Mori Wolves. They yeah. got relegated. And I remember I, I interviewed Ajibuyi and he told me straight up, Guy, I am not going to go on relegation with Mori Wolves. And then, uh, you know, a lot of people reacted on, on, on that interview. I was still in radio then. A lot of people reacted like, This guy is feeling big. What is he feeling like? <laughs> but he said clearly, yeah. I know what I'm worth. I know the value of my football. I no, know who I am. True. I cannot play in the lower league. It has to be another Premier League team. Yeah. And boom, one year later, he's a league champion. Now you're going there to go and displace that goalkeeper. Kimuti, I know that people always say, we're teammates, anybody that keeps is good. No, but I also know that when I was a football player, I want to play. I want it's to play every game. That one is true. So, how are you going to displace Ajibori? For, you know, I don't know. For, for me to come to uh, Plateau United, this. For me to work, yeah. not to displace uh, 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 Ajibo, 
I have a lot of respect for him. He's a good goalkeeper. Fantastic one. So I think we're going to work, and the, I think the coach knows the best. He knows the one that he wants to use, and I believe if any time they, any time they give me the chance to, 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 to prove myself, I must make a point. Okay, when I was playing, your coach was like the senior player in charge. He yeah, was very good. Bubu, yeah. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure Bobo you told you how good he was. I was told anybody how good he was. No, I watched him. Was, I watched him. Bobo was fantastic. Yes. And sometimes they tell you warm up, you know you're just warming up for not you're not going to play. Because Bobo is killing the game. That's him. He's 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 running your position mad. And then but you're just warming yeah, up. It's true. And you're praying that oh, God if I get my chance. But you look at Bobo the way he plays, you know you're never going to get your chance. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever get into that kind of position? No, 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 not at all. So not you always believe that you get your chance and you seize it and then well, anybody we own, I can actually win any business. That is the fact. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love, I love that. But then, uh, you, you guys have a lot of games, so I think the coach can rotate. You play some continental games. Yeah. What's the target for you on the continent? Uh, yeah, I spoke with, uh, before I came to um, Plateau United, yeah, I, we discussed uh, me, the coach, and the general manager. And I, I think the, 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 the officials and everybody, they have a, a target for we to get to the group stage. And, and they are working very hard towards it. And I see the zeal, the players also, everybody, they are working and they want to see something. They want to make, want to make name for ourselves. And uh, I think Platinum United will do well. You played under a lot of coaches. Yeah. Tenge, Polai Bogum. You played under quite a lot of coaches. Okay. All of these coaches you played under, who's the one that made the most impact in your career? Like, this guy, if not for this person, forget it. Who's that person? The, the truth is that all, all the coaches I played on, that they, they, they put something in me. All of them. Should I mention Kaleri Kana, yeah. John Ubu, Imama, name them. All of them. Even Bado, your coach. Because <laughs> 4 to 4. But the one, yeah, 4 to 4. And Okoti. So many yeah. of them. But the one I really cherish the most, and, uh, it gives, it gives, it makes me understand that this career that we are having, we need to work. That this career that we're giving to, we need to work. Keshi. Stephen Keshi. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Fantastic guy. I never got a chance to work with him. Uh, uh, finally, before I let you go, Nigeria is going to the World Cup in June. We're yeah. going to play in Chan in January. Uh, you sit where you are. You look at our team. Can you? We're, we're in the same group in the World Cup with uh, Croatia, Iceland, uh, and Argentina. Argentina yeah. When that draw was made, I'm, not, I'm sure you were following it. Mm. What was the first thing? You said, ah, oh God, it don't happen again. Or you're like, okay, nice one, nice one, nice one. No, you see, Nigeria, I believe Nigerian football, has, uh, they have a grown uh, situation whereby we'll find this one in our group and we'll get scared. We'll have the team, we'll have the, 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 the players, good coach. Even the NFL, they are doing their best. Yeah, I, think, I agree with you. Yeah, so I don't. We, I think we in Nigeria, we need to bring our head up and go straight to the pitch and do what we have to give. So you're saying that you think that Nigeria will qualify? Of course, for that Nigeria will qualify. We we'll do. Are you so confident? Yes. And then we'll get past the round of 16, our traditional round it's of 16. It's possible. It's round later we are talking about. <laughs> okay, Mati. Yeah. You know, we never knew that Ezema was going to be number one. Two yeah. months to the World Cup, something happened. I'm not praying bad for anybody. And you are in fine form, and then you get a phone call. Okay, Matilda, we're taking you to the camp of the Super Eagles. You're going to the, the, to try out for the World Cup. How would it be? What, what would be your first reaction? My brother. My brother. Wow. <laughs> Where do you want me to start from? I don't know. Tell me. I would be very, very happy. Very, very happy. And I, I know what, uh, what I'm going there for. And... And it's a privilege. Okay. An agent tells you, okay, Moti, I have a deal in the EPL for you. Yeah. But you can't go to the World Cup. <laughs> and the coach of the national team calls you, come to the World Cup camp. What is your decision? The EPL and the World Cup is a different ball game. Yes, I agree. World Cup is for, for one month. Yeah. And it's after four years, another four years. But EPL is for a season, and it depends. It depends what the EPA want. If I'm going there for a direct contract signing, or trials, or trials. But for the World Cup, I know it's a serious competition. Yes. 
So, but if they were the API is uh, for trials, yeah. I'll go to the World Cup camp. You'll go to the World Cup camp. Yes. That's nice. It's a great choice that you have made there. Thank uh, you. Thank you very much. much. But uh, before we let you go, let's take uh, your, like, I, I want to take your, uh, uh, what's it called now, your iPad, and I want to look at your top list of top 10 music that you listen to because music and football go together. Yes, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So, yeah. who are the top 10 artists that I'll see on your playlist? I don't know. I don't know if you like. Mostly, I listen to uh, worship song. Yeah, I do too. Mm, yeah. uh, I'm a church boy. Yeah, like yeah, Frank Edwards, Nash, mm -hmm. Joe Praise, even most of them like that. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. So it means you pray a lot. I interviewed one guy. Uh, what's his name? Uh, we, we played for Rangers last season. He's in Sweden. Uh, uh, Uche Gulam. Yeah, Chisom. 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 Yeah. And it says. <laughs> There's something people don't know about it that he prays like six hours every day. As we can get you good to the same thing. Wow. Uh, are you a prayer warrior or you're just a fit, good fellow, whatever would be, would be kind of guy? No, no, no. I pray. I pray a lot. I, I pray a lot. And it's prayer that is keeping me uh, all this while. What's the, difficult, the most difficult opponent you've played against in Nigeria? The, the team or the, the striker? Okay, let's start with the team, then we'll go to the striker. Um, the team. Is it uh, my career or the... Your career? Mm, I will go with uh, this team and Pillars. Kind of Pillars? Yeah. And then what's the most, what's the most difficult, difficult striker you, you, you've come across? Like, this guy, you just, you just know how to score Isha. There's one boy in there, I'll be aware of. Okay, me. <laughs> no, 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 I know him. No. I need to do something about it. <laughs> Because last season he scored me home and away. Wow. Yeah. So that's not good. Like, if you want to play against him now, you see him. What's the first thought on your head? You tell your defender, mark that guy. You. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mama used to do that too. Like, if you don't mark that guy, if you know, if he score, you know, he has a very tiny voice. Yes, yes. Yeah, and it's small, but it's, it's very crazy. Like, if you don't mark him, if you don't mark him, if you don't. <laughs> Crazy, crazy, crazy thing that happened in football. Yeah, but yeah. It, it's nice talking to you. Now, yeah. now, finally, before I let you go, yeah. uh, some goalkeepers are heavy eaters. Yeah. Some are not heavy eaters. Okay, but say, are you one of those heavy eaters or you're caught in between? In between. Some goalkeepers, if you see their food in a mountain or pyramid. I used to be like that before. But when I get to a stage, I need to work on my weight okay. so that I can move them freely. Okay. Yeah. So, what's the thing you do when you're not playing football? Uh, most of the time, I play with my phone, listen to music. Maybe I sit around with friends. So, talk time. to us about your family. I mean, if I'm, are you from a very large family or a very small family? Mm, I'm from a very small family. We are not much like that. So, who are the others? As in the other, talk, talk to us about your parents and your brothers and your sisters, if there are any. Yeah, my, my dad is a military man, retired. Okay. My mom, she's a businesswoman. I have uh, brother, two brothers and three sisters. Yeah, and my kid brother is also a footballer. Really? Why does he play? Yeah, he used to play uh, Rangers. He played for Rangers. He played oh, for Vietnam. Okay, Honor I know Honor Ode. Yeah, Who knows? That is my kid brother. Okay, now we, now we know. I, I mean, I was always trying to link it up. Like, okay, maybe it's a different person. You don't miss this name up. Uh, yeah, it's good It's good to have a new one around the MPFL. And uh, like I said to your teammate, Obaji, mm -hmm. I wish you guys success on the continent and in the league. And wow. as you travel, uh, make sure that uh, you represent Nigeria and your family very, very well. I wish you success in the rest part of your career. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it.